Hello folks, I'm Jeff and I'm going to uh, show you how to repair a uh, leveler pleated blind that uh, the spring mechanism in there it keeps it from going up and down. So here's a blind that uh, is working well and uh, you can see that and a little clip here, raise it up and down, no problem. That's how they're supposed to work. But I have this one here that uh, won't go down all the way. So I'm gonna take it apart and show you how it works. So inside they have these little plastic tension mechanisms. There's this particular one has two. This one's about six feet wide. And uh, you can see <clears throat> that the strings uh, go down into uh, the bot through the blind there through some holes, some grommets, some brass grommets. And when you pull the blinds down, these gears have spring steel wrapped around these gears. And uh, that keeps it staying down and it also makes it easy to go back up. So, first thing you want to do is to uh, pop this thing out of here and there's some little clips right here you can try to pop those out and then just kind of pry this system this uh, assembly up and then pretty soon you'll be able to just flip it on out of there you have to use a screwdriver to get it all the way up and when it's up it comes loose like this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to take some uh, paper clip, take a, the heavy duty paper clip, and you're going to find these little holes right there. So you're just going to put a paper clip in there because you don't want the spring steel to pop loose and, and come all over the place, which it will if you uh, if you don't do this. So paper clips are great. So it kind of goes something like this. So you just pull there and then slide this thing out like that. And these spring tensioners are gonna pull against your uh, paper clips. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side here. Same thing, pull this one back little clip right there, slide it off. And you want to not move these strings. You want to, later on, we're going to tension those springs, but you can, uh, that's how you do it. So, <clears throat> so then, you need to take the two assemblies apart right there. So now I have two spring assemblies that are held in place with the uh, paper clips. And then the back sides of these look like this. So they're going to have uh, one wheel over here, which has spring steel on it and a gear, and another side, which is a uh, coil right there for a gear. And what's important is that these stay uh, on there, and sometimes the spring steel can actually break an end, and then you uh, do have an issue. Uh, it probably needs a repair place, or potentially you could recut the spring steel to make it uh, fit into the, in the initial uh, hole of this wheel, or these may need to be retentioned, which is the case in this one right here. I have uh, adjusted this one several times and and uh, I need to get the spring tension right. So in other words, the right amount of spring steel on this wheel versus this wheel. I don't know what the number is, but uh, you can play with it. And uh, as long as you have this paper clip in here, uh, you don't want it, you're, you're okay. So now this one, <clears throat> this particular one, I have too much on this wheel. We want about half of that on there. So you have to wind this by hand by taking the paper clip off and being very careful to hold these things so they don't unwind. They will zip, they will just unwind very, very rapidly. So so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna hold it real close. I'm gonna pull this paper clip out of here and hold it real close and put my fingers under these gears. And, uh, and now I'm just gonna unroll this. I'm gonna roll it onto this. Oop, there it went, that's what happened. Okay, since it unwound on me, I found the easiest way to rewind it is to 
put a uh, screwdriver under here and just pop this up just a little bit so it comes loose there. And then you want to just take this out very carefully. And then put it some, hold, your, hold it tight. And then you just start rewinding it here with, with two hands. Okay, so you don't lose track of this thing. If you do this, you're going to end up, if you do lose it, you're going to end up with a bunch of spring steel, which could be rewound. But I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm pulling it off of this wheel and put it onto that wheel to get the tension right. So I'm going to move, it takes a little bit, take a couple minutes to rewind this. And uh, get the tension right. Okay, so I've got this wheel, most of the uh, spring seal on from this wheel to this wheel right here. I'm going to be very carefully, I'm going to pop it back in here so it doesn't come unsprung. There, like that. And then I'm gonna quickly put the paper clip back in and there it holds, okay? So you do that with both of these or however how many of these sets you have. You would get the right, about the same amount of uh, spring on the take up wheel right here. So you just keep on winding and keep on winding until you yeah, you have the right amount on there. Okay, so I have both of the cartridges rewound and held with a paper clip. And uh, so I'm gonna reassemble those now. They're just gonna go back like they did before. Just kind of pop into place right there. Now you may have to move them just a little bit to get the gears to mesh up, but they'll click back in place. I just want to make sure the gears are good to go. Just give them a little tug, but leave your paper clips in. Okay, so to put it back together then, we look for this spot right here, is this little piece here is gonna fit right down into that spot right there, okay? So we're gonna have, now, make sure we have the right amount of string for each one, and we're gonna rewind the string rolls to make sure that's right. So I'm just gonna pull this all the way out. And I'm gonna lay it over here. I'm gonna put this spring, the string, even with this hole, that's about where that wheel's gonna go. I'm gonna do the same thing with this other one. It's fully rewound. And we have this cartridge in there as string as that wheel is, this, this wheel here will be about right there. So we're gonna make sure we have equal, equal amount of string on both sides. So I'm gonna do like this here. And this, this spline only is pulls down about 16 inches or so. So you, know, you can see that this left one is a little bit, but I mean, if I do this right here, left, I need a little more string over here. So I'm just gonna pull some, I'm just gonna pull some over here. Let's move that so they're about even on top somewhere in there okay close enough so now we're just going to rewind these to the point rewind these uh these string rolls until they're about to this position you can tell which way to wind it because the string is going to want to come out of the bottom side here. So if you can see that, we'll try to get to the camera there. The string should not come against this side. It should come against this bottom side here. So I'm gonna rewind that. Just turn the wheel and rewind the string. I'm just gonna lay it near the track here. This is about where it's gonna go. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing 
with the other wheel. Again, you want it to come out of that, so the string to come out to be rolled. So it comes out of this bottom part right here. And I'm gonna do that until it's in approximately the right place again. And I'm also gonna lay that there. Now I'm gonna take my assembly and I'm just gonna click these things in place right here. And uh, yeah, you always have to have the right direction. So that can be a bit of a challenge. It looks like you have to turn it this way. And uh, we're just gonna pop that into place right here. same thing on this side okay there now we have our completed assembly right here and there and I'm just gonna pull the paper clips out and now we're just gonna slide it over a little bit drop it into the tray and click it back in place just make there you go that's it. There's the uh, assembled unit. Okay, so we have the uh, blind reinstalled. And uh, let's see if it works. Voila, there we go. You can see here that this one pulled up a little bit from the bottom. That means that uh, probably didn't wind the, straight, the spring steel quite far enough because that leaves it Want to pull back up just a little bit, but uh, close enough for me. So thanks for watching and uh, good luck.